so your own private cloud repository that you can access from any device with 10 gigs of space absolutely free all of your favorite content in a single place so do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so to start this process the first thing we're going to do is head over to the mediafire website to create a free account now if you want to you can actually do this process without creating any account but i do think if you are going to have a permanent online you know library or repository for your applications i do recommend creating a free account and the other great thing is you don't have to use any real details so none of those details when you do actually create the account are actually checked so you can completely make up the email address you can make up a name or really any details that you enter, none of them are validated, but it does mean that you can use all of the features as a registered user. So let's do that now. Let's click on sign up. And here we can see that the free tier gives you 10 gigs of storage. And really guys, 10 gigs is more than enough for all of your favorite applications. So let's click on get basic. So here, for example, for the first name, I'm just gonna do first name, uh, sponge, surname, Bob. You can see where this is going. I just do, and for the email address, I just do s bob one thousand at uh, let's just do gmail.com. And for the password, make sure you do enter in a password that you can remember. So I'm just gonna go for this one. Okay, so that's gone in. Uh, so why are you using it? I'm using it for a personal account, and I'm gonna do it to download content. Okay, let's click on I agree. Scroll down, click on I am not a robot, and click on create account. It says registration is now complete. I can now save those credentials in my browser if you want to do that, and just dismiss this message. So this is what your default online repository looks like, and it really is very easy to use. So the first thing I recommend doing is just creating a new folder, and this will be the top level folder of your online cloud repository. Let's click on this icon over here. And I'm just going to call this uh, TD UK apps. Let's click on create. There's a new folder over there. I'm now going to go into that folder. So now if I want to, I can now just start dragging in all of my applications. So any application I download from my website or from any other source, I can now add this into here and this will then upload it to my repository. But just to make things a little bit more organized, what we can do now is create subfolders. So here I'm going to create a folder for my uh, streaming apps. Uh, click on create. Let's do another one for my utilities. Let's do another one for wallpapers, as I regularly like to change my wallpaper on my custom launcher when that's working. So let's just do wallpapers and click on create. And lastly, let's just do games. Okay, so we now have four folders in our online cloud repository, which we can access from any of our devices, our NVIDIA Shields, our Fire Stick, or really any device with a browser. Okay, so now that we've created the structure, I can now go into my streaming apps. And now, for example, if I go over to my website, I can go to Downloads. And let's say, for example, in this demonstration, I'm going to download uh, this one over here. Let's click on that. Scroll down and click on download now. Let's click on save. Let's go back. And let's also get this one over here. Scroll down and click on download now. Let's click on save. So that's two things we've downloaded so far. Let's go back. Let's now get some uh, utilities. Uh, let's get good old mouse toggle. and click on download now. Let's go back. And lastly, let's get set orientation. Scroll down and click on download now. So we've downloaded two streaming applications and we've also downloaded two utilities. Now if I just go to my downloads folder, and here they are guys. So how do we now add this to our online cloud repository? Well, it really is just as easy as drag and drop guys. So if I go back over here, let's go back to Mediafire. And at the moment we're inside this folder. 
So if I go back to my downloads, I can now highlight this application and just drag it into this window here. Give that a second and we can see that's now uploading. And that's now all done guys. So the application now is in the cloud and I can now access that from any device. Uh, let's go back. Let's also drag in this one over here. And of course, guys, this is just an example. You can download all of your other types of, you know, favorite third party applications, wherever you can find online or from our website or from people's file linked, bring them to your desktop and you can then drag them across to your online cloud repository. Okay, so we have two applications in here. Let's go back. Let's go into utilities. Let's go back to our downloads folder. And I can now download set orientation and also mouse toggle. Let's drag two files in. You can also do multiple files at the same time. And we can see both those have been dragged instantly into that folder. Let's go back. And lastly, let me now drag across some wallpapers. So let's click on that. Let me find some wallpapers. I'll just drag across these five pictures. As soon as you do that, it will then upload them instantly to your repository. And here we can just see them there. Okay, so now that we've created our repository and we've saved some of our favorite content into the repository, how do we now access this from all of our devices? Well, to do that, there's actually a two part process. Firstly, we need to get the sharing link for this folder. And secondly, we can use a shortening service, a URL shortening service to give that URL a more friendly name. So let's do that now. So the way you do that is if you go to your, your top level folder and do a right click on that and select the option share. This will then give you a long link, which we can see here. So I can now click on copy. That's now copied. So now, for example, if I go to any other machine, any device with a browser, I can paste that address in here, press enter. And we now have a direct link to all of those folders of our online repository. So now, for example, I could click on this and then download the content. I can go back, click on this, and so on and so forth. So now that we've shared out that top level folder, let's now give that a friendly name just to make it easier for us to type in on our various devices. So once again, let's get that URL and let's copy that. And we can use a service like tiny URL. Let's click on that. And it says here, enter in your long URL to make it tiny. So I can now paste in my special link. There it is. Now, before you click on make tiny URL, you can actually give it a custom name. So here, for example, I can call it, let's just call it SB for SpongeBob and I will call it store. Let's see if we can get that. And let's click on make tiny URL. Okay, we get the message that that's not available. So let's just call it SB store one, two, three. Let's try that again. Okay, we get the message that the tiny URL is now created. So this long URL, you don't have to type that in anymore. We can now just type in tinyurl.com forward slash SB store one, two, three. And when you do that, that will send you to this link over here and we can then access all of those cloud-based applications that we've stored in our repository. So let me now jump over to the Fire Stick and let's now put this library into action. Okay, so on the Fire Stick, let's open Downloader. And how we can just type in tiny URL and the custom address that we saved, which was SB and click on go. Let's see if that works first time. And we are on our custom online repository guys. So I now see all of those folders that I created before. I can now click on things, see the content. So if I now want to install this I can click on that again and click on install. And just like that, guys, all of our favorite applications that we downloaded from anywhere, from my website, from other people's websites or other people's file link stores, we can now use these applications and create our own online repository that we can then access from anywhere and install all of our favorite applications. Let's back out of that. Now, one last thing I recommend doing, if you back out of this again, from the top level folder, if you press the context key on your remote, select add to favorites, you can call it wherever you like and click on save. So the next time you want to access your private online cloud repository, you can just start downloader, go over to your favorites, find your favorite in the list. Let's click on that. And within one click, you can now see all of your favorite applications that you can install to any device that you like. So 
that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching if you did find this video useful then do give it a thumbs up do let me know if you like this video and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks